If you want Snack Daddy to eat some shit that don't match the place it's coming from, give me a hell yeah! <laughs> What is going on, folks? It's your boy, Stefan Johnson, back here with another star-studded food review. If you're new here every week, I bring you food review, comedy, and voiceover content. If you like the way any of that sounds, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification, and join me. We get off the rails every single week with the bullshit that comes out of these fast food joints. So listen, let me, let me get down to earth with you guys. A lot of these places don't know how to stay in their lane, if you will. Um, whether it's a chicken spot that wants to come out with a burger, or whether it's a taco spot that wants to come out with chicken wings. Um, so we have another one of those stories today. Domino's has come out with loaded tater tots. What the fuck? One, they don't have a, I don't think they have a, a deep fryer at Domino's, right? So they're, so they're baking them. The thing that gets me is that they have some rather, um, enticing toppings um they got their three cheese one i think they got a um a chicken bacon ranch one but the, the one particularly um tickled my balls if you will um there, there's a a a a a a a a a a a philly steak one that has alfredo sauce steak peppers and cheese on it and i'm like you know what They'd have to be really creative to be able to fuck up steak, cheese, and Alfredo sauce. Um, so we're going to see what what they can do for us, what they can offer us. We're going to pass a judgment on them with very little discretion. Because when you take these bold-ass moves, when you make these bold-ass um, uh, movements to say that I'm going to serve some shit that no one asked me to make. No one, no one needed this. You know what I mean? Um, you, you have to be ready for the onslaught. Of criticism and I am I am criticism so let's get started and let's see what we can do my children this song is really fucked up I think this song is about wanting to bang your brother's girlfriend or your best friend's girlfriend or something correct me if I'm wrong in the comments but I think it's something really screwed up like that I'm just really really apprehensive about about this one because to do tater tots right they're, they're like the one potato that needs to be fried. You know what I mean? Like you can get away with baking like french fries or whatever else, but I feel like you really need to fry tots because they have that almost cylindrical um, shape where I just feel like you are not gonna get an even crisp all over unless you fry them. It's like, you know sometimes when you like oven bake potatoes or oven bake um, potato tots and they're not just right. And then you have that one side that is perfectly crisp, perfect little snap on it, right? And then you have that one little corner where it's like not fully cooked. Like it's it's that really unpleasant texture. It tastes like you're like, like eating like a reindeer hoof or something like that. You know, so you have to really cook the shit out of potato tots in the oven to get them to be fully cooked. And then they dry out. If you overcook them, they dry out. So, uh, and then you're gonna cover this with like toppings, cheese, meats, um, sauces and stuff like that. So that's going to further hinder the cooking process. And the thing is, I haven't really seen too many people talk about this, which is another poor sign. Because usually when something smacks, it's all over the net. When, when something smackable, dackable, it's all you're gonna hear about. All right, so we're back. We got the bag, or box rather. This bitch is light as fuck. I am, I am scared. This is this was like eight ninety nine, and this is like, oh uh, my god. Let's just see how much we got in here. Okay, all right. It's very light, but it's it's. I guess that's nine dollars worth of tots and cheese. I think you have three types of cheese: Alfredo sauce, a steak, peppers, and onions. Even though I got no onions because onions are trifling. In most situations, onions are trifling. Of course, I got me a little bit of sugar water. Ah, that hits the spot. All right, and the potatoes do have a little bit of like good golden brown on them. I don't know if you can see, but there is uh, some good color on them. So I'm hoping they are cooked all the way through. So I'm gonna try and get a bite with sauce, cheese, and meat all together. Peppers, of course. A little bit of that crispy bit on there too. A little bit of that crispy crust. Oh my God, maybe that'll be the thumbnail. It's a cheesy bitch, I'll tell you that. It's a cheesy bitch. Going in. Got, ah, it's doing the thing. The potatoes aren't cooked all the way through. Like they're not raw at all, but you're just, they're, they're soggy. 
you definitely have that baked potato tot taste and texture. Damn. I wanted to like these. You don't want to have to go in hating anything that's just potatoes, cheese, and meat, right? Those three things should always be a winner. The tots in the middle are very mushy. Even where you can see where there would have been like a crisp on there, the interior is just very mushy and undercooked. Good flavors. That Alfredo sauce, the steak, and cheese, of course. Why can't you be better? They need a deep fat fryer. Fry the potatoes, put them in the pan, add the toppings, then like just broil them, flash broil them for like two minutes or something. Put it under like a salamander or something. Uh, God. Again, the flavor is just there, but it's the texture and the cook on the potato. It's like you're looking at that, that, that girlfriend that, that you know has potential, but continues to disappoint you. And it looks like a good bite, that cheese pull, the girth of it. It's gooey, but it falls flat as soon as it touches your tongue. Just like that ex-girlfriend, right? This would be better if you requested them well done. Maybe have them send it through the oven another half a time. I would not get this again. I, I would opt to go to like a Sonic for my tots or like a bar for my tots. I'm not going to Domino's for tater tots. I'm sorry. It's good enough to finish what I already bought, but I would not purchase this again. Domino's, you need to take this one back to the test kitchen. I'm sorry, baby. So folks, this has been a short one. I just wanted to bring this one to you because it was kind of breaking fat boy news. If you like tater tots and if you're willing to give it a try this way, if it's convenient for you, Go and make the trip and try it. I would not go out of my way for this, though. All right, folks, I'm going to finish this, I guess. Um, I'm going to leave some fun stuff right here for you. And I'm going to leave some even more fun stuff right here for you. Folks, I always appreciate you. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification. I've been me, you've been you, and I'll see you soon.